that sounds illegal. <laughs> I don't have you looked at pictures of like repacks, what they look like, like the adhesive. It's somewhat obvious when they get re resealed. As long as you as long as you looked at the seller reviews, you should be fine. It's pretty it's pretty hard to fake the seal because or, or like a saran not saran what's it called cellophane whatever they use because it has the pokemon indention logo thing on like wrapped around the whole thing and seconds okay okay well the good news is, is Actually, you on, should be fine there perfectly let me turn on the audio test oh they can't hear me they can't hear you no you'll have to add a new audio source an audio output source and then do your desktop audio the audio output source um oh okay okay Now do you hear it? I think I just had to turn you up. I had an audio output capture for my desktop. It just wasn't turned up. Test. Yeah, I can hear it. All right, is that too low? No, that's good. It's three seconds exactly, by the way. Three seconds exactly? Okay, that's not too bad. All right. Well, this is the first time we're trying this, so anybody coming in and checking it out, um, sorry if everything's all jacked up. But we're trying our best here. Process limiting. But hello and welcome to the part two of the Ancient Origins opening. Uh, we actually only have about 11 cards or packs left, but they are our heaviest ones. Uh, we don't really know if that's of any significance, but um, I think with the Sword and Shield ones, it kind of. I mean, it, seems it, like it seemed like it was somewhat correlated. As far as the heaviest, I don't really know if it means too much, but the lightest ones definitely seem like they didn't for sure have, like, a GX or 4. Um, joining us today is uh, the big man himself, Mr. Blake Nelson, a.k.a. I'm Nobody. Twitch.tv slash I'm Nobody. <laughs> uh, uh, we have him on our suggested streamers page. So, uh, make sure you go check him out. He's probably the best Call of Duty player I know. <laughs> um, but other than that, uh, we don't really have too much time, but we wanted to go ahead and squeeze this in. Uh, so, we reset the counter if you joined in last time. I beat Tasia by a point. No, by two points. By it was two like points? 10 to 8 or something. Okay. Well. No, it was 10 to 7. 10 to 7? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. I kept pulling um, those ball toys. Then seven. I feel like there should be more points than that because we, we opened a ton of packs. I don't know. Something was not right there. Anyway, we're going to reset the timer. And, um, and, you know, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, we'll, uh, maybe we'll find something good here. I'm feeling good so, about this hoop Okay. So. And then, honestly, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a pack aside for Blake. And that's going to be his designated pack. And we'll open that at the very end. We're at an even number. That one? Okay, he's gonna get two because that's just gonna make it an even number so we can still. He gets Tiger and Atar. Alright. Alright, I'll ruffle some plastic so it sounds like I'm got it. These are your packs when it comes to. Can you see us? 
Yeah, he can see us. He can see us on the stream now. So these Sounds are good. Backwards. I'm gonna set oh. them back here. With Charizard. So if you see me reaching. Charizard. Excuse me. Uh, okay. All right. Yes, Charmander. yes. That's my secret. That's my secret plant. There you go. He's a, he's a spy. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's lower, lurking in the background. All right. So we'll we need to make sure not to forget those. Um. All right. And uh, you want to go first? You go first. All right. I'll go first. Dude, excuse me. <coughs> how's your Holy phone? God. How's your phone mounted or whatever? Hey, I saw a JT. Uh, the phone is mounted. Tommy got me this uh, this thing called the Gooseneck. Oh, and is it one of those like bendable tripod thingies? Uh, not tripod. It's uh, you literally can uh, you can like pinch it down onto the desk, and then it's just like a yard long neck that can be you know angled and manipulated in any oh, angle, funny. pretty much. All right, and I think three was the right for this series, so we'll do the three. I guess four if you want to include it. I don't know if anybody. I don't know. I might wait, wait. start. Might start passing out the codes if anybody wants them. Who's that? Who's that in the top top left there? I didn't even. Oh, that's Giratina. I wasn't there for that. Giratina and Hoopa, we pulled last. Um, actually, I pulled both of those, and then Tasia pulled the Ampharos. Uh, and actually, going back and looking at the series packs, there is a second Mega Am Evolution Ampharos full art. And I don't know which one's, you know, the more expensive one, but anyway, I, I haven't made these yet, right? All right, I don't know. I already see some crinkles in the top corner. I don't know. For five years old. <laughs> is it the top left corner? Because I've noticed a lot of new cards are like that too. Uh, this one looks to be the bottom left. Up here in the back, maybe bottom right. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It's killing me. Alright, here we go. So we got a trainer. Sausage fingers. Yeah, yeah hang on. Let me, let me position here so twist my back up too much. What'd you say? Sausage fingers. Hey, I'm the, I'm the little claw card you just got. What's that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sausages. Okay, lucky helmet. Every time I see this, I keep thinking it's the secret rare. <laughs> it almost looks like it's it. It's the really secret rare, rare already. I know there secret you go. if you want it to be. <laughs> see, we got Josh here too. I don't know if he's sticking around, but I wanted to say something to him. Josh. <laughs> Gosh, I think that going down the wrong pipe is still Tiki catching up to down me. the wrong pipe. Dude, just get yourself like a good. <laughs> hey, look, we got another. How many ball toys? No, the ball toys we got. That's like ten. We're Not pretty much ball. cursed with these ball toys, Blue. But you gotta, you gotta make a little pile and burn them all before like you the last pack. The reverse hollow energy. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm definitely gonna win. Uh, we don't know. Uh, another Metagross? Uh, this one's not even holographic. I do like that Metagross, but... Alright, so yours is... Uh... Energy. <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I think that energy looks kinda cool. <laughs> Alright, that's my best pull. Alright. Energy. I'm this guy. <coughs> let, me try to, let me try to drink some water here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink that. Right, I can't get this open. Yeah. All right. If I donate $20, $20. You, have to, you have to bend the pack in half. <laughs> Rip the pack in half. Oh, that's just sound and painful already. Before you even see what it is. You should have let me rip one of the lighter ones that I'm pretty sure don't have anything decent in them. You can make me rip the heaviest one that's gonna have. That's cheating. <laughs> it's gonna be a secret rare pack that had a. a it was like. A, a one of one card? <laughs> like assembly line, like, you know, error where it got stuffed with just like. Double all rare secret rare, rare. Double rares, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, how would you know that, I guess? Pull, up, pull out a Rayquaza that has two heads. Dude, that would be insane. 
Go lurk. Neon color. You literally find the Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza all three in one pack. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think they distribute these right. I'd be worrying about a reseal <laughs> and fakes at that point. They're just doing that to pretty much scam little kids. Pretty like that probably. All right, so uh, it's still a bad, bad card. Who wins, energy or ink? I'm going energy. Do I mean you not have... just because it's mine, but I mean I, I think it looks pretty. The... Do you already have Inkay? either of those? Um, we have NK, but I don't think we have that special energy. I don't think we do either. Well, not we have special energy. It's just not holographic. I don't think it's yellow. Though. Yeah. Is yeah, it? It is. it is. It's just not holographic. Um, all right, Blake, you decide. You're our judge. I feel like it's got to go to the energy just because you don't have it. Yep. Okay, Blake. <laughs> I see you. All right. All right, that's a tally point. That's an unbiased opinion. I mean, I I think it makes sense. I mean. If we haven't pulled it yet, I think that if we did pull both, she would probably get it just because. I mean, it's like it, I don't it, know, it's, it's, just he, it's like Tyler had already pulled a, a Rayquaza twice, and then he pulled a or, or you pulled a Kyogre on that oh, run. Gosh, that oh, that would be crazy! It would be the who Kyogre. wins on that one, I guess. It would be the Kyogre because you already have a Rayquaza. Oh, you're right. You're that right. That was my logic. Yes. <laughs> you're right. All right. All right. Now I'm talking nonsense here. That's not <laughs> but... See now these I'm not gonna lie, these packs, I don't really know how they weigh you know, more than the other ones, but they I don't know, these feel like they're just kinda a lot easier to open. Um I don't know. Maybe I mean sometimes I think if the cards have been sitting in somewhere with like a certain kind of humidity or something, or you know, if it's not a sealed room maybe. You know, if that would affect, you know, the structure of the pack, you know? Well, I'm sure. I mean, after five years, there's probably something that happened to these. I'm sure All the right. amount of adhesive that is applied to each pack is different on the production line as well. I'm sure it's not always exactly the same. Yeah, true. All right, and Dulles. Then again, I don't know how they seal them. There might not even be adhesive. It might just be heat. No, oh, yeah. That's why I feel like any of these other packs, are, these might be reseals. Oh, these, these cards feel a little light for some reason. You already did it. Okay, alright. Alright, well, as long as we still see cards from the original series, that's going to be a decent sign. Which... You're just going to pull that uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a Bell Awesome come from this pack, have you? Hex Maniac is supposed to come from this pack. So. Just oh. check the numbers. Check the numbers. Uh, uh 4 out of 98. Um, yeah, and the symbol is the same. Okay, yeah, I, think we're, I think we're good here. I think we're yeah, good here. If you ever get suspicious, just check the numbers and the symbol. Yeah, I mean, it looks like uh, we just haven't we just haven't pulled that one yet. Oh, there you go. Special energy, except not holographic. <laughs> What's with you and the energy? I'm fused up. Right, let me get a little more in here. I think we pulled the first holographic one for the last time. Whooper! It makes me wonder if some of the packs would just be heavier because they just like absorb you know, the moisture or something if they were kept somewhere bad. True. Alright, looks like. Oh, is this another reverse holographic energy? Oh, but it's dark reverse holographic energy. Dangerous energy. <laughs> Alright, so okay. what do we got here? Another Best Queen. Alright, I'll probably just put the reverse. Yeah, what if the reverse energy is what's weighing so much? <laughs> what if we're thinking, I mean, we're thinking that's what's so legendary. It's just holographic energy. <laughs> I mean, if you look at it, like the the size of where the picture is is larger than a, like a, just a regular card. Mm. True. Yeah, that's more, true. More more colored paint. I don't more know. More colored ink. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> paint. Like I'm thinking some of the other paint things <laughs> actually painting on there. Or just like, you know, certain pigments are heavier than others. You're going to pull a Rayquaza and go to like look at it and you're going to smudge it. And there's just going to be like an oddish underneath <laughs> that someone painted. <laughs> someone it's painted just, it just like rolls off like <laughs> peanut butter off the top. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, babe. I need you to pull something good because we're not, it's not looking too good. I, I can't pull anything better than energy. <laughs> oh. Well, I can't pull anything at all, apparently. Yeah, you, you got these hex maniacs, though. 
Is it? Oh, another Bell Awesome. Double Lugia. What are the chances? Double Lugia. Is it? Oh, double Lugia. I'm Gosh. sending my energies. Lugia would be amazing. Yep, there it is. Hey. hey. Meowth's still chilling on the beach. Gloomy. Build him. Reverse hollow. Oh, look at that. Finally got a reverse holographic Ralts. Oh, what you got here? Is that Sceptile? That's my guess. A Sceptile EX. Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. I win. I don't know. Blake Energy or EX Sceptile? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I have watched. I did watch someone who puts the soft sleeve um, upside down and then puts the hard sleeve in regular, so you can still do what you were saying, have it sealed on both sides, but still have it upright in the hard case. So that might be. We we'll might have to re repack uh, or move these over eventually. All right. Well, look at that. It wasn't energy. I think you just double hard case them, dude. Like a double hard <laughs> case. <laughs> just shove them into each other, force them. <laughs> they have extra large hard cases to go on top of hard cases. I want to get some of those, like openable cases that you can like put the hard case inside of. Oh uh, yeah, like the, the collapsible ones that go over the hard case. Yeah, just for like that, like that. Yeah, it's like if it gets like ran over or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you think it's strong enough to handle a car? <laughs> the best part is, girlfriend bro. ruins, runs over boyfriend's turns her. Well, the best part is like someone. Not a long I just. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something funny and be like, "Yeah, that's right." <laughs> don't piss me off. Um, I would never. We could uh, we could probably, we could probably move Hoop. Uh, we can move Hoop someone out of the way, maybe. Maybe like that. Set it on top. No, I mean, I don't. I just, I want to still be able to see that it's like the most recent pool. If anything, swap the places. Like, you can put hoop it down there. Since, uh, that's an older one. Um. Alright. Okay. What's next? Okay, what weight was that? That was 2.21. Or 2.20, basically. And this is almost 2.30. At least if someone breaks into your house, you don't have to worry about them stealing Pokemon cards. <laughs> no one's Unless it's crap. me breaking into your house. <laughs> um, okay, Pokey card, two. bandit. Which one do you want? Uh, I'll take Koopa. I mean, I figured you would rather have Tyranitar. Bottom of that pack's looking a little uh, crumply. This one, this one feels a little heavy. It's feeling, it's feeling a little thick. Oh, I'm telling you, bro, you're, you're gonna pull out a piece of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely win then. Honestly, what if it was just like seven gift cards to Chick fil A? Not a spot. <laughs> <laughs> From 2015. It's just 10 library cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. 10 I like that Sceptile, though. I'm s uh, there's supposed to be a Mega Tyranitar and a Machamp in here. That looks pretty sick, too. Sausage Finger Claw. Dun dun dun. Oh, there's the there it is. There's the Mega Tyranitar. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I feel like between the common cards, we probably have so many copies, we could just give them away. Oh, what just happened? Whoa, what? Uh, what just happened? I picked up two. Oh, wow. Hey, but we got a reverse holographic Belden, though. I think that's the first. It's Claymation. It is the Claymation. Oh, and the Metagross. I'll take one of those Metagross. So. I think that's, like, the third uh, rare Metagross. And then we got, like, two of the regular rares. Because there's, like, the hollow rares and then just the rares, I think. I don't, know, I don't know my terminology as well. Um, Alright. 
Hoop a time. So you jump through these hoops. Gotta beat a bell of them. Belt on there. Mm -hmm. Alright, well that pack's slaughter. Put it back in there. Whoa. I think I pretty much got all four of the, the arts that I'd want. Okay. Oh, bless you. Yeah, little baby girls. It's easy. I wish some of these had like the master ball in the background. Well, I guess then you would know what card it is. <laughs> All right, we got Septon. That'd be another way to do, that they could do rarity, though. True. Like, have full art, but then there's also a full art Master Ball. I mean, like, if you if you know, like, there's one guaranteed rare, but then, like, on the back, you see a Master Ball, and you know you just got lucky and pulled, like, a Legendary. But yeah, you know. could come up with another way to open the pack, though. Safely. That's true. I mean, if it's in the middle, then yeah, you could just put it second to last, so you just don't even know. I just want to burn all these ball toys. Hold you, get them all, save one, and then burn them in a pile before you open your last pack. It's a, it's an offering. Smart. All right, uh, Steven? Trainer. Uh, Ace Trainer. Ace, Ace. I know there is a really cool, like, crazy-looking Steven card that's in there somewhere. Uh, is this another Metagross? Wow, look at that. Is it? How? Is, they... <laughs> I... Is it sad that I feel like I'm almost disappointed to pull a Metagross? <laughs> I want... After after like six of them? Yeah, I mean, we don't have a reverse holographic Beldum, so I'd say it's Asian one. Yeah. That's a, that's a rare pull, obviously, since we pulled like five Metagrosses. <laughs> All right, is that two one you? Um, all right, the twenty twenty eights are done. Hey, uh, basic Metagross is worth fifty cents. True. <laughs> I mean, now pretty much. Uh, I mean, if we got like four of them, go ahead and come back. Yeah, those are the ones that came from Gabe's that have crinkles. These I was skeptical about a long time. Come on, time Gabe. Ago. Come on. Good old Gabe's toy chest. And like I said, Gabe only lets you buy two at a time, so. Whoa! Seeing those crinkles? Whoa. Gabe! No, they get Ray Quaz's crinkles. Yeah, look at them crinkles. Yeah, I would, I'd be getting my money back if you pull Ray Quaz out of that bad boy and it's crinkled. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a, I think a mint, or a, a grade zero Ray Quaz. <laughs> you that's... got one, but you it's can't like really see the artwork. <laughs> you got one, but you... It's so bad we can't even identify it's Rick Waz, but it you know, just looks like a blur. Uh, have you been going first or me? I think uh, I went first, I? Went first last time, so it's Alright. These are the 36s. With Ray. And if you're seeing this crease right here, that was my fault when I was handling them earlier. Are these all from the same guy? Nah, about a vast majority of them, about 60% came from super awesome cards. Uh, they're super amazing cards, and then, see, like, look at this, that's just kind of, well, maybe that's just from the end scene from when I first opened it. You can't make any judgments till now. What do you mean, like, real time, or how long have we been streaming? Right here, live, 24 minutes. What is this music from? Is this Pokemon? <laughs> Understand. Okay, well, uh, this card looks legit so far. It's just a pack of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I mean, look at look at even like the QR code. What is happening? Here? Okay, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Even even the corners on some of these are like, a little sketchy. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe we're just uh, we're thinking it just because of the crinkles. Okay, you can use an iron. You can Honestly, iron the back of these look look pretty good. Just nice. throw them. It's just, just, it's just the pack itself is messed up. Just, just throw them in the microwave. The It'll be alright. Uh, well, they both have ridges, so I guess neither of them are fake. So I think. This is the one that you Okay. Uh, we got Spirit. Uh -oh. 
Am I chopping on your end, Blake? A little bit. It's not that bad. Try to just go a little bit slower. Ooh. Save line. Okay, the meat's hanging. No. Uh, no, not even. I think we have a hologram to Yeah, you've got... I, I don't know if it's... Are you using the blue light right now? Um... I'm like, seeing something, and it makes it look like you're pulling a holographic, like every card. Oh, really? <laughs> every now and again, I get like a weird little shine. Yeah, there it is. You just did it. Yeah. Uh, you know, oh, the holographics, bro. <laughs> <laughs> DM me now, starting at 10k. <laughs> Pull a holographic that doesn't even exist. Everyone's just like, <sighs> that's the old, like the ultimate secret rare. Uh, the third evolution to this is available in this pack which we haven't pulled yet so that would actually be nice for once all right i'm gonna guess energy for the holographic i'm gonna guess another trainer not the ball toy okay i'm guessing ball toy ball toy uh, is the paint is, roller is the most reliable answer rayquaza oh reverse holographic eevee it's pretty not too bad And See, my question is, is this another Metagross? Oh, is this a normal Metagross? My question is... Wow, holy cow. Would a Rayquaza be the second to last or the last card? Or is it random? Oh, um, like, when, when, we, when we reorganize it or reorder it? Like, no, yeah, like, when you pulled a full art, which card was it? You know? Um... I think the fourth from the last. No, I mean like, you know how the two rares at the end when you move the card to the back. Yeah. Which is it? Would it it should be the be should be the, the very last card. Okay, that's what I thought. Because usually before it, it's like a reverse holographic, and the last one is just like a rare, that, can just come normal. Like it, the, the the best the rare card might not even be holographic. Okay. Gotta be an Eevee. Reverse holographic Eevee. No, I feel good about this one. Feeling good? She's feeling good. Feeling good. I need you to feel good. Ooh. We got two packs left plus bleaks. Have a good lurk. Okay. If I see one more ball toy. I might be seeing, might be seeing a ton of ball toys. Start folding them in half. <laughs> yeah. Start Ooh. crinkling them all. Oh, the reverse holographic oddish. What? Dang, we are getting a ton of metagrosses. You're looking kind of suspicious, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe's, Gabe's only got metagrosses. He's just mass produced metagrosses. Alright, who wins? A Eevee or them. Oddish? Do you have both of them reverse hollow already? I don't think we have either of those. Do we? Do we have... I mean, we have an, we have an EVV. We have the EVV card, I feel which like, is even better. I feel like I gotta put my vote towards Otters just because it's the cuteness. I would probably say so. Otters, I, I mean, people probably hate me for saying it, but I'm not too big of a fan of EV for some reason. I mean, EV's cute, but Otters, Otters, Otters wins the cute scale on that one, I think. Cute scales. Cool smile. <laughs> smile. People are like, you seriously think Oddish is cute, more cute than Eevee? Eevee's like the most cute Pokemon of all time. Uh, you can't beat that. Oddish. Oddish is really cute. All right. Um, I have to. I have to pee. All right. Bye. We'll wait for you, and while we figure out who's gonna get which Hoopa. Oh whoa. whoa. <laughs> I gotta, gotta feel them out, you know? I feel like this one's heavier. <laughs> I mean, I, obviously, weight doesn't mean crap. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we These just heavier a bunch ones of... haven't even given us anything. <laughs> I mean, we got this, this guy. Yeah. Which is still good. But... Yeah, true. But I was saying, I mean, the Giratina, the Emperor, all of those were just in, like, middle weight packs. Yeah. I just think the heavier packs either... Just have more have... sealant on them. Yeah, or something. I mean, I don't know. I was gonna say I mean, 
It seems like the average weight of the packs is the way you should go. Right. Nothing exactly. Power, like, you can't... too light, but just kind of the average. Yeah, like, if you had to weigh them out and, you know, try to do that strategically... You should almost avoid... You would just not want to buy the, the light ones. You should almost avoid the heavier <laughs> Yeah, the heavy the ones are almost ones. just, like, deceptive. Because, <laughs> I mean, the... The secret rare shiny mega rig plaza weighs almost just as much as like a regular reverse holographic card so you really can't make that judgment if they knew it weighed almost twice as much then True. dude people, i got then it people could reap that all day i got it dude we'll start a youtube channel and it will be us we'll, we'll call it a uh, ebay detectives and we'll go. just order from everybody and then weigh them and then prove everyone Ooh. wrong. Find the fake. Yeah, we won't even open it. Or <laughs> not even, yeah, dude, just go and scam people. Find people who are scamming on eBay. Dude, that'd be great. eBay busters. Scam busters. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, I like the eBay busters. <laughs> e busters. Doing the Lord's work. <laughs> hey, that would be great. Just calling people out and then we get, you know, people, people trying ones. to attack us. Uh, yes. These are almost 20.4. I think one of them is 20.4 grams. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, sand it out. It really seems like someone was playing on my drum set because the left drumstick has a chip in it. <laughs> I've got it. If you, I don't if know it, what you're talking about. If you pull a Rayquaza and it's chipped, just cut it with some scissors at the bottom just to get rid of the chips. Yeah, I mean, we'll just <laughs> cut the part where it's stripped at. I mean, that should make it mint, right? I mean, there's there's no crinkling on it. <laughs> no, like, I sir, think... th how are the corners? Well, sir, there are no corners. <laughs> I'm pretty sure PSA actually like, measures the cards. And everything. If I clip the corners, I would technically be doubling the corners. Like, sir, you actually have twice as many corners. This is an 11. We've never seen this before. <laughs> Your card is yeah, awesome. honestly, as far as Beldum, Mutangs, and Metacrosses, I don't think I've ever seen this many, like, ever. In Ball Toys. <laughs> Ball Toys, I'm not surprised, because he's not just kind of been the junk card of the entire pack. Ooh. Gloomy, eh? Oh, I'm going to guess Paper Roller. Can't see it. Ah, Faded, Faded Town. Town. Not y'all spoiling it That's before I got bad. to see it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me see it. I'm sorry, Tasia's the one with the hands over here. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, take these. Alright, I'm guessing Metagross. Oh, whoa, that's not a Metagross. Wait, hang on, let's go slow here. Alright, well, we already know it's not any of them on the screen. Any What's guesses? Seven, seven what's the first attack? Unseen Claw. Mm -hmm. Another. What's the second attack? Well, I know there's a Sceptile Sleep. Or second ability. All right, and it's a grass. It's got to be set off. Wow, look at that. We got the other EX set on the card. Ooh, that's kind of clean. That boy clean, baby. Let's go. You go, it my love. It almost it almost looks 3D because the claw is not holographic. Mm-hmm. That's nuts. All right, well we got both set I think there's actually a third set. <laughs> in this in the series. How did you say you want to put it in upside down here? Yeah, you put that in upside down and then you put it in the hard case normal. Then you, it seems like that's the most optimal way to keep it clean. And then you vacuum seal it. Honestly, that might not be a bad idea. If you pull a nice ass card to put it in everything and then vacuum seal it. True. You no know elements. That <laughs> the music. <laughs> Alright, I feel like, I don't know, Blake's packs might have something now, because I feel like we can find better stuff at that weight class. Uh, joke's on you, I'm Gabe. <laughs> joke's <laughs> on you, I'm Gabe. Huh. Okay. I'm just laughing too hard. Every, si every single pack I sent you had Rick Watt. You I already know what's in I there. I took him out. <laughs> I took out all the Rick Watt. Every single pack had a Rick Watt, but I took him out and put all those Metagross in <laughs> That way you still feel reliable enough to buy more packs from me, you know, but like you'll never you'll never get a top tier card. Alright. Bag of chips. Bag of chips.
Yeah. Right. Well, I see a little bend on on an edge, not even a corner. On an edge. On the trailer park. It's like right where your thumb just was on the right. top right. I might have. It might have been a weird lighting thing, but it looked like a little tiny little crease. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Sure. Little crease. Like oh, Captain Crinkles right there. I think I see what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a little Captain baby. Crinkles. It's a little baby crinkle. Little baby crinkle. It's okay, we can just... I don't know, it's not a tin, though. I mean, you can just put it. an iron board on it, right? And flat it out. <laughs> just throw it in the washing machine in the dark. <laughs> throw it in the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. If somebody had something super rare and put it in the washing water. machine. <laughs> put it in some water and hang it up. Because they wanted to wash it. Oh, that would be hilarious. Oh, goodness. All right. Ooh, okay, starting off with Flareon. I like Flareon. No, Flareon's key. Okay. Sandria. Fire, fire Pokemon. Is it a fire Pokemon? <laughs> fire human, dude. Rare. Rare fire human type. Okay, that's for Queen, which I think you pulled the holographic. Charmander is my old time favorite Pokemon. What, Vesper Queen? No, Charmander. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was like, Vesper Queen's your all time favorite Pokemon out of, out of all the Pokemon? I dressed up as Charmander for Halloween one year. I dressed up as Pikachu for Halloween one year. Hey, and then I was Tyler, like, where are you at? I beat you. Um, Where's your know. Pokemon cost? I also dressed up as Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Yu -Gi -Oh! <laughs> it was the shittiest costume, too. It was just a big plastic face. <laughs> that just sounds terrifying. <laughs> like the purge. It's kind of fun though, because it had like the dual disc. Reverse Hollow of the Dark. Uh, what do we got? It's 687. It can't be the same one. It's got to be. It's got to be that uh, Malamar. I can't see it. It's got to be the Malamar Squidman. That's got to be my guess. Six, trash. Six trash. 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 Hey, Malamar. Yep. Call it. Or is it trash? Trash tentacle? Oh, that's literally what it's called, trash tentacle. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, All honestly, right. I mean, reverse holographic Malamar. I mean, it's not too bad. But the last uh, card? Last card is. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Ente. Oh. Okay. Not too bad at all. Right. Solid. Solid. Yo, yo. What up, Seed? All right, well, uh, who wins? Tasia's Faded Town. Yeah. What was her other I'm card? What was your other card? This is the other card. Oh, yeah. Okay. So she pulled the Sceptile EX. Mm, okay. But, I mean, okay, Entei is, is not EX or anything. It's But it's also not a regular it's, one. Because we pulled a regular one, right? Special. I don't really this know what is... tier Entei that is. That's, that's it's a not tough full one. art. I think it's just a rare but, hollow, but you know, full art, full art is like the whole card. Like these guys. Yeah, like you have. Yeah, he's full art. Yeah. You like Alexam? Yeah, Alexam is full art. Yeah. Like I said, I'm a simp for the fire Pokemon. Might have to. I mean, it's the fact that Entei is a legendary, but the. The rarity of the Sceptile is higher, but the value of Entei is higher. So it's like... My personal choice would be Entei, but my non-biased choice would probably be Sceptile. I feel like rarity, Sceptile, but like just because I like Entei, I would choose Entei. Honestly, I would choose Entei. I'm a bitch yeah. for the fire type. Man, well, I, I'm actually, I was really surprised there. I thought we were just going to get like another Metacross or something at first. Um. Yeah, I say we put that in hard for now. I mean, we pulled what two regular Entei's and then this one, so I mean that's pretty rare. I think uh, that's probably good enough for a hard case. All right. For so now. Voting Entei. It's three three. All right now. Um. And then Blake's got his two packs. Let me open them. Send it through my 
Oh, yeah, that is pretty nice. You know, how many packs did you get? 40? 40 40-ish? Yeah, I think it was like 42. I mean, but uh, but four, four of them pools. haven't came in yet, so I think it was like 38. Got total. some pretty solid pools already. I mean, this is that's like almost equivalent to like one box. So for one box, that's pretty freaking. You can't, you yeah, can't complain about any of that. Honestly, if anything, I bet you you wouldn't get that much stuff in the box just because like you know they know to distribute it. I don't in a certain way. I don't think they're allowed to do selected distribution i think it's completely random even they don't know yeah it's 100 percent random i think that's what i was reading i mean, I mean I don't it probably know. should be but if we end up finding like 100 holographic charizards in california and then two in georgia it'd be like i mean they i mean they might, they might have control over who gets like top like three godliest cards in the pack or which pack they go into but other than that i don't i, I think it's random from what I was reading. I mean, from what I was reading, it's completely random, even in the boxes. True. Very true. Um, <laughs> you can only trust somewhat what you read on the internet, so... Alright, Blake, well, your your packs have been blessed. Alright. And... It's all up to you now. And by saying your pack, everyone who's watching, <laughs> that means he is legally required to give me whatever cards are in these packs. <laughs> <laughs> He's 100% legally required, huh? <laughs> I've got a lawyer right here. <laughs> For that chance, he got it. Nah, I, even I, I could never. Even even if you were getting rid of that chance, yeah, I don't think I could. All right. Um. All right, Blake. You want left or right first? Let's see him. Yeah, give me that crinkly boy on the right. Or wait, is it reversed? Wh which one's your right hand? No, uh, this one. I guess it has to be the one on the right. <laughs> I'm dumb as fuck. <laughs> your thumbs gave I'm, it ups away. I'm upside down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me that. Give me that little. Yeah, you want the one on the right? Okay, right. That right boy. All right, here we go. Blake's official rating here. And I picked that one because I know the ring claws is in the other pack. I don't want it to be last. Yeah. There we go. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Oh my gosh, I'm cute. I really this do is like it. the blue one. This is it. Double, double Lugia. This is my <laughs> chance. <laughs> double? Oh man. I mean, I did tell you if I, if I had the second one. Uh, you got it. You pull a double Lugia out of these two packs. Run down my street. All right. Walk. I walk. If I can't run. Maybe my knee doesn't work. Should I be oh, on? I'm, I'm seeing some little scuffy scuffs in the corners there. Oh, but they're not. But they're not on the other the cards in the back. Though. Okay. You're seeing some cap and crinkles. Not, okay, there's a little one. A little one. Not bad. I wish I could rotate my arm a little bit. I'm at a weird angle. Alright. Hey, there's the Mega Amphers. Mm-hmm. Alright. Starting off with the Spirit Knight. Curler. Dangerous energy. He's, so he's gotta, he's gotta beat himself. Still decide who pulled the mask. Alright, you gotta like a, do like gotta, overall. Y'all gotta look away for three seconds when you're looking at the last two posts. What? We gotta look away for three seconds? So we can see them at the same time. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's close, I'll close our eyes together. I'll do it. I'll do it if y'all do it. Uh, okay. Um, well, at least once we get to the last two, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's that's part of it. Okay, okay. All right, so we got reverse hollow. Looks like a common. Any any guesses? Persian. Or uh, normal. That's what I'm gonna guess. Persian. Uh, Eevee was also normal. Well, I don't I don't know what all comes in. 
Alright, so I can't. Uh, Persian EV are probably the only two options I'd say. Lunge. Tackle. I don't know, that seems like some weak moves for a uh, Pokemon. I'd probably say all right, either Meowth all right, or Eevee. Alright, do the quick pull, but don't say anything. Ah! <laughs> 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 you said it's about three seconds away? Yeah, something like that. That's what I was getting. Alright, and looks like the last one is a. Uh... Oh, I thought you set the Eevee down. I thought it was a double Eevee. <laughs> double Eevee at back to back? <laughs> no. Double hologram. Alright, the last one's a psychic, which honestly, I, I don't know, is this a Baltoy? I swear. Who wants a psychic? Sound it? No. Sound is not in this pack. Yeah, I don't. I can't really yeah. say. I don't know who's psychic. I don't know, know who's all. Hey, you, want, you want me to go quick? Yeah. I was, I was just joking. You can if you want. Huh. Nah. Da, 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 da. About you about to rip it in half? Well, you got the evolved version. I don't think Baltimore would be in the back, honestly. <laughs> Hopefully, he wouldn't. If he was, then I want the money. So I guess, so I guess the second rare isn't guaranteed, or the second. It seems like the first one, like the EV, is guaranteed to be reverse hollow. But the second one is not guaranteed to be hollow, but it's guaranteed to be rare. I know there's always at least a reverse hollow. Or always, there's always, a, I don't know about this pack, but there's always at least a hollow of yeah. some sort. True. Does this pack even have any regular hollows? I don't think so, because we haven't pulled a single one. I think they're all reverse hollow. Which is really surprising. I wish they'd almost just have the whole thing all grab. Is this the last pack? Uh, it's the very last pack. Alright. Looking clean. We are looking pretty clean. I mean, like I said, we do have four more packs that are stuck, stuck somewhere in, like, Utah. But... Okay, I got, I got three, uh, Champions Path that'll be here tomorrow. Ooh. I'm gonna open them between games on Dead by Daylight. Yeah, the Champions Path. Are those, uh, those are the booster packs? Yeah. Does it have the cardboard on it? Uh, or like yeah. the... It's, it's like the cardboard casing that goes around the booster pack. Sometimes they do that for the newer packs. No, it's just... Well, I, I, don't, I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah, right. I know the, the reviews are pretty good on this guy, so... Oh, my God. <laughs> <Boo>. <laughs> that freaking ball toy again. Even I can't escape the ball toys. Blake can't we escape the bolt Do it! You must Content. Oh, bolt Content! <laughs> <laughs> that was like the 20th bolt I think, so. Rayquaz is stuck to the back. <laughs> oh my god! Ripped in half. Oh god, that would suck. I love how you checked. Shit, no, I, I wanted. I, I wanted to check. <laughs> I wanted to check the terror test, but I don't know what these were supposed to look like. So, it looks <laughs> that's, that's irrelevant. <laughs> it looked weird, but yeah, I don't know what they're supposed to look like either. I know the older ones. I think have like a black inky lining to them. So, um, Golurk again. Wave slash. Uh. Wave splash? Oh wait, you pulled you pulled this exact card earlier. Who was Did it? Did we? Was it Golurk? No, it was uh, a Wooper. But yeah, it was a Wooper. Gotcha. All right, last Zip. Right. Zip. Zip. Duh. Ball toy. Rayquaza. Ball toy. Uh, what I is can't... this? Vile plume. <laughs> <laughs> Zip boo. <laughs> All right, I think it's safe to say that. Aha! I beat myself. This one. It's safe to say that the weight really doesn't mean crap. <laughs> um, which I mean, I totally expect it. Uh, I don't know because we have both. Of those. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I They're win. pretty much even. I win both of them. What? I am both. We're tied. We're tied? Yeah. Oh, okay, alright. We're tied. Alright, well, well, who's packs who? Who's packs who? Tied like 
Tyler's mine. What does that matter? <laughs> what, who's back is who? I don't even see what you did, but all right. I don't know. <laughs> Shit, they're both that kind of ass. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> True. Oh. Um. <laughs> it's a tie. It's a tie. Alright. Yay. Oh, gosh. If anything, Tasia wins because she pulled both. No, no, it's a tie. That's how she you keep the suspense. She pulled both the EX cards. So. That's how you keep the suspense. I pulled it's the next tie. Alright, well, that? when the last four packs come in that are stuck somewhere in Utah, some guy's probably taking a piss on right now. <laughs> He's probably swapping out the cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, well, those those will be the deciding factor, and if that still results in a tie, um, death match. Death match. You gotta order a first gen pack, <laughs> sealed, <laughs> two of them. Two thousand dollars on the line. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Well, all in all, I mean, six. You know, pretty rare cards. It's not too bad. I'd say. I mean, not to mention all the reverse hollow metagrosses and uh, Vile Plume, Vespa Queen, we honestly you know. Probably most of our for Gen 3, definitely. Yeah. Gen 3 um, is done. Yeah, Gen 3 definitely. Good bet. Honestly, um, all, all six of those, I think my favorite is probably the Entei. Entei? Yeah, the Entei is pretty nice. I do like that bottom middle septile, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hand honestly really looks like that claw is coming at you. Like, the top right septile, I think, is the full art, and then the bottom middle, I think, is the rare hollow. No, so, I really like this guy. Just... yeah, the full arts. Yeah, <laughs> tons of reflecting on them. They have those horizontal ridges on yeah. them that just give it a lot of reflection. Um, Honestly, I other than the Giratina, I almost say the Ampharos. For some reason, that Mega Ampharos looks really cool. I mean, it looks cool with the what is that Japanese or something? Yeah, something about that. And then like I don't know, you just like the is that the, the, the like rainbow looking reflectant. Like I don't know, I really like that. Is that his name in Japanese or her name? Or I'm not too sure. I know, I know for Rayquaza's, his says uh, Emerald Break on it. Um, I mean, like I said, I mean, I got this one in heavily played condition because I just wanted one, but this right here says Emerald Brick in Japanese. Oh, you Japanese. bought that? Like, wait. I paid for one. Oh, you got one? I paid for one in case I didn't pull one. <laughs> you should have waited. I mean, the prices were not waiting for me. What's the, what's the 10... 10 out of 10 on those worth uh the nobody's nobody has a 10 out of 10 well it's a nine worth i'm sure the highest one i've seen is going for like 130. Okay, this not... one's probably worth about 30 but that's because look at the back on it you see all the white honestly if i took it out of the case you would see it you would see it even more no, prominent i could probably see it yeah it's all over the entire edges but I mean, why would you? Why would you put that in your deck? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not I mean, I with, get it. With I no sleeve it. on it either, like. Oh, if they played with no sleeve, they're just dumb. I feel yeah. like even with a sleeve, you could still get that kind of. But you know what? The edge just by just by pulling cards out. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but. True. Well, a, a hard case, you'll never get that. Yeah, that's the, what issue I'm thinking. The, hard, the issue with the hard case is, which is, mm -hmm. I like Josh, your, I like, you. I like your idea about flipping one of the sleeves upside down. But the issue with the hard case is, you can get moisture trapped. Uh, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> but I so mean, you try to play some league after Josh. Only so <laughs> much you can do. But yeah, I think that putting it in upside down and then like that might not be too bad. But I mean, I guess tra trapping moisture though that sounds a little sketchy. I don't like the sound of that. I like this. You like the Alakazam most? This one's my favorite. Is that I mean, from? We that's actually from Fate the Origins? that's from the Fates Collide pack, uh, which actually I just bought. I just bought this uh, sealed booster box 
Because, I mean, it was honestly the only one I could find, and I don't know if it'll Where'd you get Fates Collide? Huh? Where'd you get a Fates Collide for that? Did you find it in a store? You can just show it on the screen. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't know. If, it's just the camera quality of that one's a lot better. Well, Up I don't here. even know where we got this pack. The, wait, hold on. Does that not have... Turn it sideways? Does it not have the Pokemon strip going throughout it? What do you mean? Um, the box. It's supposed to have like a... You know how the hundred, $100 bill has that little blue strip? Uh-huh. Yeah, the box... I don't know which boxes, but some of the boxes are supposed to have like a Pokemon strip that goes throughout it. Let's so see what can... year this was. I know Champion's Path does. This was 2016. So this is a year after the Ancient Origins came out. Um, but yeah, this is... I actually pulled that Alakazam. Uh, there was a tin box that I got for $10 at Dollar General. And inside that tin box, it came with a variety of booster packs. So it came with one Ancient Origins, which is how I knew Ancient Origins exist. And then... Um, it came with a Fates Collide, which is this series, and that's how we pulled the Alakazam. And then it came with, I think, an X and Y Evolution. What did you say? You pulled the Alakazam? I pulled this, yeah. Did you pull the Alakazam? Are you sure about that? Oh, wait, know. no. Maybe you did. I thought I pulled the Alakazam. I don't know. I thought I pulled that. This one's my favorite, though. Yeah, that, guy's, that guy was at least worth 15 bucks then. I don't know what it's worth now. Um. Yeah, I mean, the Mewtwo, I know that guy was roughly going for about 50 in Mint. Um, I think these were going for at least 20 plus, probably 10 plus. You said this these one are was probably 50. at least 5 plus. Yeah, that one was going for about almost 50. Um, and that's, that wasn't even like it's, uh, that was just like estimated value. That wasn't even its true like bidding value. Where'd you get the Mewtwo from? That came from uh, something Mines. Mythic Mines or something. Uh, that was the series pack. I think, I want to say it was Mythical Mines or something like that. Was that in the 10? Say what? Was that, was that in the, the Dollar General 10? Um, I didn't get that from the Dollar General 10. This what? one is the Dollar General. We got that. That was from the Dollar General. I think that's the only one we got from how much, the Dollar General. How much, was, how much was the 10? The 10, I got for $10. Pretty solid pool. Yeah. And it came with a lot of other good cards, too, that I just, you know, I didn't put hard cases on. But, yeah, if you can ever find those, uh, it, it had a uh, I, I saw the Blissey on the front of it. I saw the sticker for them at my Dollar General, but they didn't have any. Uh, yeah, they... But for some reason, since the, uh, I think the Hidden Fates and the Champion's Path came out, everybody's buying them out. But before that, you used to be able to find taunt, like all of those tens for dirt cheap. And they had Ancient Origin packs, which are now going for almost 20 bucks. Yeah, and I got, them for, I got them for eight. There's probably people just buying the, or getting those tens, or they were getting those tens and then pulling those Ancient Origins out. Yeah, and, and then just them. keeping them and then selling them separately. Yeah, because then they could, then they get the ten paid for basically. Mm -hmm. They should have them at most dollar generals, honestly. At least they, a spot for them. If no head for lead. Yeah, <laughs> head. I mean, God, I'm gonna go grab something real quick. Y'all, y'all trying to play some league right now? I thought it was Sunday night. I, I didn't think anybody was gonna be here. Instead, we're trying to get some league in here. I know, but we got this. So we got this box that came in a couple days ago. And then we also got a sealed. It's supposed to be factory sealed. I'm not too sure, but it's supposed to be another, you know, a whole bunch of these. I think 36 sealed. Uh, it hasn't came in yet, but that's coming from California, so it might be well. Um, but that though, I don't know if I'll ever like. I always want to keep points, but it wouldn't. Be I want to know what's in it. Well, I mean, if we ever have multiple, I don't mind opening up a pack. MLK tomorrow? Uh, oh, oh, shit. It is I brought MLK a surprise. Tomorrow. Oh, hello there. Let's uh, let's see the let's see what's inside the magic case. Here. This is the real Man, collection. Let me let me uh. 
Yeah, buff Blake up here. Yeah, let's buff Blake up here a little bit. Let's just go ahead and uh, show off these first editions. And... Uh, it's like some, um, some, I don't know, wherever your light is, you might have to try to get it at an angle or something. Maybe a blue light. Oh, is that Kingdra coughing? Oh, hold on. Let me figure this out. Let me pull it up on the <laughs> screen so I can actually do this in real time instead of trying to adjust <laughs> to your... <laughs> Three second delay. delay. <laughs> oh my goodness. So these are all first edition ones. Yeah, th these are all first editions, 1996. Um, that were finally found and restored <laughs> to their former glory. Instead of being lost in the catacombs. They just look so pretty. You gotta show them that. You gotta show them that, that good good. Which I left in here. It's from 98. Oh, average chilling. Smoking Why is it so blurry? I wonder if I can. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, honestly, you're looking better already. Damn it, white does not help. <laughs> Wait, what if I do this? <laughs> there we go. Okay, there you go. That's 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 better. <laughs> say that that one card that you showed me though that thing is probably if it gets graded for at least like eight or higher then it could probably be worth 20k talking about <laughs> it's so funny just seeing even the delay in the real time right? talking about this bad boy yeah there she is the holographic yeah. 1996 chancy we'll see how that back looks how's the back look Oh, um, oh, 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 I mean, honestly, for 1996, that's got to be like a, I'm pretty impressed. Maybe a seven, five, eight. I think that's what I said earlier. Yeah. I mean, it, it really kind of, it probably comes down to the surfacing because I, I can't, I can't grade surfacing. This guy, is... that guy, that guy's looking good. Yeah. He, he's solid. Like I, so that's, so that's got to at least be what? 90, 98. Yeah, this is a 98. Okay. Nice. Um, well, let me go back to the binder. Well, he's also got... Oh, let me pull this out. I feel like some people want to see yeah, this. Yeah, that's a lot of though. A lot of people want that. Oh, Japanese? The Pocket Monsters. Do you need a good bin? Oh, yo, I had... I have a couple packs of those for my uncle. Oh, you he's gotta find those. You never know what's in there. Your uncle's probably probably knows what's up. He lived in Japan. It's also this, which literally says emerald on it, which is kind oh, of cool. Oh gosh, swallow, swallow. <laughs> yeah, that guy was freaking out. That illustration though, I've, that almost doesn't even look like. It. Go turn the fan on. Open the door. <laughs> I'll see. I'll I'll honestly, it's not that bad. Well, you said it was bad. There's a... I gotta take your word for it. <laughs> Dude, I wonder... We gotta do the whole nine yards here. I wonder if this would be worth anything. Uh Oh, I knew the Hitmon Lee was. I'm not too sure. I, I haven't checked the Hitmon Chan, though. Well, it's weird because it says... Rocket Hitmon Chan. Rocket Hitmon Chan. What? Rockets hit one chan? Yeah, that's what it says. Huh. I don't know. Let me uh let me do a little do a little goose. Uh, what year what, what year was that one? Uh this is a I actually don't know. It's got like three different years on it. Rockets hit one chan. The most recent year says two thousand on the card. Okay. Uh, um, uh, looks 
like uh, uh, is it holographic or reverse holographic? It's holographic, right? Uh, ho yeah, regular holographic. Well, if it's first edition, they're going for about roughly three hundred. Uh, is it first? Uh, I don't know. I mean, PSA nine, they're going for six hundred. It's, I don't think it's a first edition. It has the Team Rocket logo on the bottom right? Yeah. It's got a little dude with the Team Rocket logo. Okay, okay. A Team Rocket guy with the, with the Team Rocket logo. See, this guy is selling a PSA um, 2000 Hitmonchan holographic first edition for $1,100. How do I tell if it's a first edition? Um, I want to see I... that symbol to the bottom left corner of the illustration. Um, hey. It, it'll literally say hey. first edition on it. Hey. Uh, World Championship 2005? Uh, what <laughs> is that? Um, Medicam? Will you Google that for me? World Championship 2005? What the fuck? It has an artist's name on the artwork. I don't know if you can see that. Um, ah, I can see it, but I couldn't make out what it was. It says Gurren Hill. How do I not see that? Um, okay, so it looks like in 2005 there was a Pokemon World Championships deck, uh, Curran Hills Bright or a deck box that you could buy. Um, the deck box is going for a hundred. Um, uh, these are looking roughly somewhere around five to six bucks. Ah, oh, it sounded so like. World's Championships. <laughs> it looks like there's one for Soul Rock too, but I mean, even yeah, the sealed deck boxes so. from 2006 are only going for 100 bucks. It sounded juicy, but yeah, I mean, if it was like a Charizard Championship, <laughs> <laughs> then I bet you'd probably uh, you'd probably score big on that one. That would have been crazy. This doesn't even have a year on it. Oh, it's that's why it's a pocket monster. I think this is is this a first edition Pikachu? First oh. edition Pikachu? <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't have the first edition thing on it. Um, yeah, because I think it's, the first edition Pikachu it's from, is supposed to be the fat one. This one's from the right year. Yeah, I don't think it's technically a first edition, but it's from the right year. Okay. It's probably not, it's probably yeah, not a think... first print. That's probably all it is then. But dude, that meta, that Hitmonchan though, if you can get it uh, PSA approved. Wait. Is this the Thick Boy? Um. I. Actually, I don't, I don't, know I don't, I don't think like. so. The the one the first edition Thick Boy that usually goes for a lot looks even worse than that one's this one's quality wise like it really looks like a jacked up Pikachu but it's I mean it's the first edition first Pikachu so got the hollow uh oh, dark Raichu dark Raichu hollow dark Raichu that sounds like 2000 2000 oh man I mean yeah those can go Anywhere between the lowest I see is seventy bucks, Damn. all the way up to almost seventeen hundred dollars. But that's a mint ten. Mint ten is being sold for. Look at this one. Almost seventeen hundred. And I mean, it's the year two thousand too, so it's not like there was an edition before this. Um, Let's see what it looks like. PSA 9 mints. I don't know why this one's listed so high though. I don't think that's realistic because the rest of these are about 350 to 700. 
feel like I'd probably get like a PSA 8 out of this maybe. Oh, there's this, uh, I haven't showed you this yet. Got this little chunky boy. Oh, what? Hello there, big man. He's, uh, is that 99? 99? Not a first edition, but he's, he's looking good. Looking good? Hey, I mean, Snorlax is nice. Um, I don't think Okay, 19, I mean, what's weird though is that these people are advertising that they're 1999 is first edition. I think people are just throwing crap out there stuff. Unless that's the first edition of that Snorlax? I'm, I'm not too sure really what that is. He has a lot of 99s. But I mean, the... And there's also these weird, like... Like it says someone's name and then the Pikachu title. Mm-hmm. And honestly, some of these prices makes me think these... Some of these are... Fake, but I mean, if it's in good condition, you're probably looking at at least 350 to 500. I mean, some of these are almost at 600 for holographic 2000. Oh, it's no lie. Tommy, this is um, this this is, is so what's going of, on here? This is some of Taylor's collection that he had going from when he was a kid. Yeah, he we managed to gather them all up and put them back into a case to protect them i'm still missing he has another binder somewhere i don't know where they're at what was the what was the binder that i found or i saw when i was there last time and your mom yeah, was that's... telling me not to touch it yeah that's the one with a first edition charizard it's not a hollow but it's okay. Charizard. i thought it had a hollow first edition blastoise though it does yeah where's that where's that thing at I don't know. I can't find it. You can't I find it. It's in that it. house. I know it's in that house. That I house is brand new. You got to be able to find it. I think my mom hid that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, Tommy, I don't know if you saw it, but he has a first edition holographic Chansey. I mean, if those things are in good shape, they can go for easy 20k. He's also got this pile of loose cards. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they all predate 2005 as well. Dang. I mean... Even like a freaking non holographic Caterpie first edition, if it's legit. Oh, hello there. Holographic wand? Yeah, he's just sitting at the top. Most of these are energies. Because I think Gen 3 was like 2000. Energy 2 to 4, maybe? Oh, wait, what was that? Oh. Yeah, I might have to try to find that binder tomorrow. I kind of want to look through it. I mean, I looked through. We looked through it, but we didn't. Like, I didn't actually look through it enough. I don't feel like. Yeah. Well, that that binder's a little bit smaller, though, right? Yeah. This one also has a loose. Um. Like one of the things came out. I oh, like the spine. The yeah. Kind of loose. I mean, it's all good. Like all the cards are safe and protected, but. Okay. It's not attached anymore. Dude, look at this Oddish. This is what first edition Oddish looks like. You can't even see what it because it's so blended is, in. What the heck is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, the whole... Pretty much the whole art is green, so you can't even <laughs> see him. <laughs> I can't. Dude, and that's like... That's like a 10 almost. I, it's probably a 9. I mean, it's not first, a hollow. First edition Oddish? In this binder, he has 9. I don't know why. I thought the first edition Oddish illustration looked different. I wonder if there were different ones. I mean, it literally says first yeah, it edition. It could be multiple, maybe. It, it says first edition right there. You can't. Uh, really oh, for Kingdra? Okay. That, that little. No, all, all of these. All this, all nine of the ones on this page. That little black symbol, it says first edition on it. Okay. Then, yeah, that should be. That should be legit. I mean, Sorry, as long I as, I'll... you know, the printing on it's matching up too. Have you got a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle? Uh. No, I don't. Uh, the edges. I think this is Sleeper, so you tell me. All right, so he has Oddish, Oddish, Tentacle, Goldeen. See, this Goldeen doesn't really look like a, uh, 
Uh oh, that's because it doesn't say first edition. What are you doing on this page? Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> The Seedra looks solid, though. Yeah, the Seedra, the Kingdra. Um, but yeah, the holographic Kingdra, didn't you? Yeah, that's one of the ones I put in the hard sleeves. I think I'm going to throw the Snorlax in a hard sleeve as well. I don't get Was Kingdra a Gen 1? Because I thought there was Horsey and then C. Or was the second evolution? Uh, yeah, we can probably throw this away by now. I think we're pretty much good. And all the envelopes and stuff we can probably get rid of. That's a good question. It says Kingdra. Uh, put him in the paper box over there. Oh, yeah, but the Kingdra is 98. 98. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I just picked the ones that looked the cleanest. And then just, it's gonna probably pick out the four best ones out of that. And then just, like, slap them in an old frame or something. Alright, I'm gonna steal this bad boy. Not like 2015 is rare, but the fact that Shiny Mega Rayquaza is only available in this pack, I had to go for it. Just pulling a, pulling a perfect one would be nice. Man, are you gonna continue on trying to get it at some point? Or is that it? Maybe eventually, I mean, if, if the prices kind of look like... Because I just don't know if they buffed them up because I was buying them so much. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, maybe after a while, because I don't think anyone's going to pay $20 a pack for Ancient Origins, because I don't think anybody's that crazy for Ancient Origins like I am, just because I'm a big Mega Rayquaza fan, uh, Shiny fan, so I bet you those would probably go back down after a little while, and then I'll probably get some more then. I mean, we do have the sealed box coming in, but... Oh yeah, there you go. That promo blast toys. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I like that guy. But yeah, I mean... Um, oh, so, okay. I probably still would like to pull one to get a mint condition, like Kyogre and Groudon or something. The, uh, apparently, the, um... Surge is Pikachu, hell yeah. 25th anniversary stuff comes out in March. And I'm not 100% sure if they're doing normal packs. Because I saw somewhere that... They're doing like large cards, kind of what Magic did, Magic the Gathering did with their large cards. Large cards, huh? I don't know if that's like on top of regular packs or not, mm -hmm. so we'll have to see. But yeah, they come out in March. Okay. It's I also mean, paired. It's... it's also paired with McDonald's, so there's gonna be a McDonald's. Uh, oh, what? And they come in packs, so I'm gonna try to keep some sealed McDonald's packs. But it's like a two-card pack, I think. Yeah. I still want to keep them sealed. Though. I feel like people would have at least one of the <laughs> some sealed be, McDonald's packs. <laughs> it'd be cool to have one of those. Like in twenty years, it could be like, yeah, I got a sealed twenty fifth in. <laughs> that sealed twenty twenty one McDonald's pack thing. Well, I also turned twenty five this year, so I'm pretty much the same age as Pokemon. So what's up? Hey, <laughs> happy, there you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy twenty fifth anniversary, Blake. Yeah. <laughs> Just as old as holographic Charizard. <laughs> Feels if good. Only I was, if only I was old enough to open one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Before I was old enough to even know know what I was getting into. I don't feel like I would have had the know how to hold on to it. See, that's where Taylor Taylor was different because he's got like two more of these that are filled with Yu Gi Oh cards from then as well. Mm -hmm. And they're all uh, they're not mint, but I mean, they're. I mean, the fact that it's taken at like least 20 eight years. years. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. I mean, the fact that it takes like 20 years for some value of cards to really get appreciated. Well, and you also don't know. That's like, there could be a that could be a oh, brand new order. pack. That could be a brand new pack that comes out tomorrow. That 20 years could be worth a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. You just don't know. Mm -hmm. it could be worth two bucks. True that. Well, I mean, like I said, no matter what, I valued the shiny Mega Rayquaza, Kyogre, and Groudon. So I personally just really wanted those. Yeah, that's obviously, this obviously, is the best one of all. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, Inara, our dog's custom Pokemon card. Wait, Teething bites get... in the zoomies. Where'd you get that? Uh, Joey's girlfriend, Jess Mixon. What? Save 
but she, <laughs> she it's basically basically she knows how to make fake pokemon cards just show them show them the back of it it's, it's legit bro <laughs> psa 10 mint are condition are they on actual pokemon cards yeah yeah you know what scares me though is Thomas? what what cards did she put them on <laughs> that's what scares me <laughs> Thomas Chu. She said she found some old cards that nobody wants anymore, and I was like, "Sadness attack." <laughs> old cards. Oh no. Team T. Look at the mustache. Oh yeah, this was me and Tasia. Oh lord. I think she got it. Was that for Christmas or birthday? I can't remember. Uh, it was for Christmas. I don't know. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, now I kind of want a Buka one. Buka. I mean, she made it seem like it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I well, said pretty much she just found something that looked like our animals and then made up little sayings and pretty much just it printed it out on a specific kind of paper. I wonder if I could get a uh, like a full art EX card of Buka. <laughs> For Zara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would like be that, great. The septile artwork, but with Buka. Claw. Yeah, <laughs> the claw coming out like 3D pretty much. Oh, that'd be great. Um, what well, do you, uh... Who won the last one? Uh, I thought it was a tie, right? It was between Eve, Evie and Wolverine. Uh, I who think... Who won it? Overall, most popular would be Evie. Oh, yeah, uh, apparently. I mean... I, I consider it the tie because it adds suspense for the next stream. You open more packs. I mean, if, if those four packs just end up showing up tomorrow, then we can just you know, maybe pop them open real quick. I might just maybe add it in addition to one of my other streams or something. I don't know. The winner will be gets... like, I want to see these last four packs, but I gotta search Banjo because we're... the winner. <laughs> the winner gets a light up lightsaber chopstick. Oh, that's actually really. That looks really cool. That looks video. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that looks <laughs> sick on the video. You see this, Jason? Look at this. What? Yes, <laughs> too. What? They're little lightsabers. You said light up chopsticks? Yeah, they're little <laughs> lightsabers. You have them? I want those. When did you get LED chopsticks? <laughs> they look like lightsabers. What? They do. Them. What? They do on camera. That looks great. Now you just gotta add the, the noises. <laughs> We gotta like re we gotta like reenact like a Star Wars scene, but like I'll have like a normal size lightsaber and then you pull out like one of those and just be like It's like I gotta uh, eat my sushi but <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> It burns. I can't I can't get over how real these look on camera. That's crazy. I mean I'm just trying to think what they look like in real life because that's all I know they look like. <laughs> I can show you what the kind of. Oh, okay, okay. That's not too bad. Just, and just, oh, it's real. Oh, <laughs> da, 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 da. It's crazy. Oh, it's one of the Avengers theme song for sure. <laughs> um, well, what time, or do you know estimated when those your packs might be showing up? I mean, it's the United States Postal Service, so yeah. probably around, probably around three. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say probably around like, next year. <laughs> well, over here, USPS delivers around three ish, and then US or uh, UPS delivers around like five. Yeah, I think I have like a I have a shiny Rayquaza figurine that has a one card holder on it. That was, you know, I, I mean, it'd be a... cool. It'd be cool if I could find a tin mint mega shiny mega Rayquaza and then put it on there. But oh, I dare just loopy baby. Hello! You just need to go. Hello! Yeah. She's looking out the door. Lightsabers! <laughs> oh, oh. Hi. Oh. Oh, she's sleepy. She's very sleepy. I wanna I wanna do the buka buka meet on the video, but I think I think we should wait for in person. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd say uh, overall for the stream, it was a pretty good experience. I'd say, Success. you know, other than if we can figure out a way to, you know, have you 
completely live with this as well, so you don't have to wait three seconds anymore. You would right. need another webcam. Yeah. True. I don't know. There might be another way. Uh, I mean, I can almost get yeah, Tasia's Bluetooth hers and just make hers another webcam as a temporary solution. I'll um, look into it. True. Uh, we'll probably get one eventually. Until then, uh, I mean, like I said, maybe with that sealed box coming in, it's almost getting to the point now to where it's almost cheaper to buy sealed boxes than independent. Like, if I had to buy 36 Ancient Origins booster packs compared to a box, like, it's almost cheaper to just go for a box. A sealed box. That's because people are buying boxes, take them out, and then selling the packs for upcharge. Just making money off of that. Well, screw that. For someone like me who doesn't care about making the money, I just want legendary pools. As hard as it's gonna be, I'm keeping both of my boxes that I ordered sealed. Yeah, I mean, even Tasia every day is like, I want to open that Fates of Eyed sealed box. And I'm like, <laughs> it's like, nope. It's like, I need a whole wall of sealed boxes. That's that's what I'm going for. Back of the streams is gonna have a bunch of sealed boxes. And then shiny Rayquaza figurine with the shiny Mega Rayquaza right in the middle of it. Like, a shrine. And then maybe get like some green or like black and red LEDs around it. I well, did find not like there's black LED, but you know what I mean. On some pretty crazy card holders that I want to get. Kind of what you're saying, like they're like figurine Pokemon. But like hold your card up. Yeah, like you got one with Charizard and then the like... Mint 10 holographic Charizard in it, and then just put the whole thing in like a clear frame case. Like, that would be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely want to make sure if anyone brings their kids over, they don't, uh, they don't get anywhere near that. <laughs> Alright. Um, but, um. Any, any guess, any last words maybe before we wrap things up here? I don't think so, other than uh, tune in to my stream tomorrow. I will be playing some Dead by Daylight and opening three packs throughout the night. Are those Champion's Path as well, or are those, which ones are they those? Will, they're all three Champion's Path. Okay. Well, Un Unweighed and pretty decent reviews, so we'll see. So that one that one has the the shiny Charizard and the... It's got both. Shiny and the and VMAX. The VMAX. Yeah. Oh, it's got both. That's pretty good. Yeah. So what does Vivage Voltage have? Just the VMAX Pikachu and Charizard? Yeah, thick Pikachu. A little fatty fat. <laughs> Which I also want, but yeah. v uh, Vivid Voltage is shooting up pretty quick. Yeah, because I, mean, I really do like these EX cards, but it would be pretty cool to get some VMAX cards too. Just to throw in there with it. Um, but, um, yeah, tune in uh, to uh, Blake's I'm Nobody channel. Um, other than that, I think, I mean, we got a ton of online codes here. I mean, I'd probably be okay with just adding them out. I mean, trying to sell them for like a dollar each or packaging them sounds like a huge deal. So, I'll just, probably, uh, probably, we'll, you know, maybe we'll just flash those uh, when we do like another pool and, you know, anybody can just go crazy and just scan all of them if they want. Or maybe I'll submit see. them somewhere on like the page. Like well, now, chat section. Would, now would be a perfect time for you to have a Twitter because you could be like, hey, go check out my Twitter because I'm going to be posting all these codes. Oh, you're right. I mean, I do have a Twitter, but it's like ancient. I think I got like middle school pictures on it or something. Well, I know you got a, I know you got a YouTube that's connected to your Twitch. You need to get like a Twitter and get it maybe, all connected. Maybe an Instagram. Maybe. Maybe, maybe Instagram really just Instagram. for the illustration cards. Like, I feel like this would be a good reason to get an Instagram. For yeah, this alone would be a good enough reason for Instagram, probably. I don't want to just be taking pictures of myself and my baby nipples. <laughs> Alright, but I'm about to piss myself, so I'm going to I'm gonna head out. Alright, sounds good. It's good seeing you. And I got so I something guess, for y'all. I was going to say, let me know about uh, tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I got your notifications on, so... Oh, there's Buka. You gotta see Buka before he goes. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Look at it. She's literally doing the exact same oh thing that Herb is doing. <laughs> Say bye-bye, Buka. -bye, she's Buko. just locked up. God, she's heavy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs>
Look at her face. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, her face. <laughs> that face, though, is just. Too She's cool. like, what? What? He hates me right now. She was laying down. What do you want? Yeah, I was sleeping. <laughs> Oh goodness. Look at her. <laughs> no, no, Looking nugget. straight at the camera. Mm -hmm. Alright. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Say bye bye. bye, -bye. Alright guys, take care. Probably see you next time. And have a good night. Adios. See ya. Peace.